everyone, this is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers and we're out in our test garden. And um, today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about viburnum leaf beetle. If you have spring blooming viburnum and they are usually more of the native varieties that do get, are susceptible to viburnum leaf beetle, you might see something like this. And um, Taylor's gonna show you in a little bit a close up version. But if you look at the foliage on this viburnum, it's been really, really eaten away at um, almost skeletonized where it's just showing the veins of the leaves left over. And so what is happening here is the viburnum leaf beetle tends to attack viburnum that have very uh, smooth or thin, thinner leaves. So if you have a viburnum that has some pubescence on it or some, some hair or some fuzz on it, they usually won't eat those. And those tend to be um, some of our non-native varieties, which is fine. Um, but with our native varieties, they will just chew right through the foliage. What happens is um, that adult females will actually lay eggs at the tips of the branches. And we'll show you a close-up of it too. And this is actually... Um, through the growing season and into fall. They'll lay the eggs and then they'll actually stay there over winter. And then the eggs will hatch, typically in May, and you'll start to see larvae. And it'll look like little, just little worm kind of larvae that'll come out and they'll really start eating. They're very, very voracious. So they'll start eating. And then what they do right around June is they drop off of the viburnum. They actually pupate down in the soil. It takes about 10 days 10 to 14 days and then they emerge as adults and so we have plenty of active eating adults on this viburnum so what do you do well a couple things that you can do is actually remove the the actual tips of the branches they do lay eggs in the tips and um, you can see actually where the holes are on the tips of the branches so you'd want to do this actually in early um, late winter early spring when you're going around you're pruning a lot of your shrubs you can go ahead and you can remove some of that tip that you see some of the egg laying damage or holes in those. So that's a good thing to do. The other thing that you can do is actually spray the actual larvae or beetles. So you've got a couple of options there. Um, you can actually use a ready to use spray. This is called Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. And um, it's really good for um, insects, especially chewing insects that have chewing mouth parts. So when you see this jagged hole, you know you've got a chewer on there and it could be, again, a caterpillar type insect or a beetle or what have you. So um, Captain Jack's works very, very well on those types of um, insects. And so you could apply this to the plant. Now with organic, um, or I should say natural insecticide sprays, it's sea bug spray bug. So you do actually want to apply it to the bugs that you are seeing there um, on top of the foliage and then underneath the foliage, okay? Um, a little bit different type of ready to use spray would be eight. Eight is actually a step up from seven. Um, and eight is, a, again, a man-made insecticide. This has a little bit longer residual. So when you see the bug, you spray the bug upper surface and lower surface of the leaf. And then this one will actually stay on the foliage for around five to seven days or so, okay? So eight can work as well um, to really take care of some of your chewing insect issues. The other thing that we recommend and this is uh, systemic. This is um, Bonide's annual tree and shrub systemic. You've probably heard of systemics before. To take care of insects, you would actually uh, mix this with water and then apply it around the base of your plants that are having the insect problems. What, how this works is that the root system of the plant will take up the insecticide inside the plant material. So when those chewing insects come and they start damaging the plant, they will actually ingest the insecticide and die from there. Now, what we want to do is we want to carefully apply this. We typically apply this after flowering um, on your trees and shrubs. And um, that will make sure that we don't affect any of your, your pollinators that are coming to those flowers, okay? And then um, this plant would be protected for one year. So 
again, we would take care of the adults, hopefully. You wouldn't have any of the egg laying in the tips of the, the uh, stems there, the branches, and then you'd be ready to go. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'll have Taylor take some close-up shots of the leaf damage, uh, what the adult looks like right now, and um, you can go through and see if this might be a problem that you do have. Um, we've seen viburnum leaf beetle for probably the last six or seven years now, um, and I think it's just something we're, we're going to have to continue to deal with and be aware of out there. Um, but as long as you are aware and you know what's happening with the plant and you know how to prevent it now, you'll be on top of the issue. So um, again, look out for this. It's very common in our area. And um, if you have any questions, let us know below. Enjoy. Enjoy.